Okay. So I'll take some of the 30% peroxide. Uh, actually, I'm going to put a few drops of dishwashing soap in here. We really won't use too much, just a little bit. That's plenty. So more than you would ever use at home, or sorry, more than your moms would ever use at home. All right. And we will put, I don't know, maybe 15 or 20 milliliters of peroxide. We don't have very much of this left, so you guys are probably going to be the last class to see this today. And we'll stir this baby up with the stirring rod. And the reason I'm putting detergent in there is because if the peroxide were, to coat, were decomposing, it would actually cause the soap to foam up, which it's not doing. So is it decomposing very quickly? No. So the rate of decomposition is painfully slow. Well, what I want to do is I want to increase the rate of decomposition. So what do molecules need to do in order to react? Well, first of all, they need to collide. They need to hit each other. And those peroxide molecules are probably bumping into each other lots. What are the other two, two criterion? With enough power. With enough energy and in the correct orientation. Correct orientation. So I prob they're probably not hitting each other in the right orientation. Or even if they are hitting each other in the right orientation, they ain't got enough energy. So how could I make them collide with enough energy? I could heat it up. Okay, if I heated it up, uh, it would increase the rate and it would be decomposing faster. I don't want to do that. I want to do it at room temperature, so my second option is to catalyst. add a catalyst. So I have a little bit of potassium iodide, and the iodide ion acts as a catalyst. I'm going to make this a homogeneous catalyst. I'm going to disappear for a second and get some distilled water. So we'll dissolve the Ki in distilled water. Stir it up, get it to go into solution, and adding a catalyst means that when they collide, they don't have to collide with as much energy to form an effective collision, have a lower activation energy. So I think we've got that into solution. We'll add the catalyst to our soap peroxide mixture. Can you guys see okay? And we do. There's a little bit of an induction here, but after a few seconds, you can see that um, the bubbles, the soap is starting to foam. Of course, the bubbles are being filled with oxygen gas. And, That's lagging. Um, yeah, I could actually <laughs> take a match, but the, the gas wouldn't ignite. It would just help support the question. Yeah, speeds it up considerably, doesn't it? Okay. So uncatalyzed, the reaction would happen. It might take years for it to decompose. Uh, with the catalyst lowering that activation energy, uh, you know, we end up with that H2O2 decomposing in a matter of seconds. Okay?